retro failed history. Remember, you see that? There you go, Nep Nep. You paying attention? Okay. I wanna. I just wanna see. I'm not gonna lie. I might pause a lot. Um, I saw. I didn't see like the first 10, 15 minutes. You said cat? Oh, bro. I didn't see this trailer at all. I think I saw the title. But I didn't see the trailer at all. This is the first time I'm actually watching the trailer. Bro, his socks. Where's Luigi's socks? Luigi. So is it gonna be 3D? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Dude, and then they got the shit right here. Arrgh. Where's his where's his socks? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it looks so good, bro. Oh, it looks so good. Yo, I can't. Yo. Oh, this is what I've been asking for. I've been asking for this shit, no cap. Oh my God, they got brother moves, please. They gotta have some callbacks in here. They gotta have chopper bros, splash bros, knockback bros, fire bros. Bro, they gotta have some callback moves in here, bro. Oh, yeah. Who's working on this game? That was like an AOE. Oh, yeah. Damn! AOE smash, bro. That's fucking tough. Garumbula? Yes! Oh! Bro, that's like in Superstar Saga, Luigi gets on top of Mario. Or, no, it's Mario gets on top of Luigi and then they do the twist. But that shit look like they twisting and they turn to a whole UFO. They spinning that fast? Princess Peach. Yo, I'm so happy because, look, it's like I'm seeing a bunch of new and unique characters. New and new, it's not Toad Spam, bro. There's no, yes, there's like new villains and new characters and shit. Not, to, no Toad Spam. Yo, they fucking cooking with this shit. Bro, I can't wait to see more shit. Like more trailers to this. They they cooking. They cooking with this. Brothership? Mario Luigi Brothership. Bro. Like full metal alchemist brotherhood. <laughs> November 7th! Oh hello everyone. I'm this Shinji year? Takahashi, November? Your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series. Yo, the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series. Who's working on this shit? Is it Alpha Dream? Alpha Dream died, right? So who working on this? In almost nine years. Mario and Luigi Brothership. 
Please look forward to a seafaring adventure. That Bro, I'm super looking forward to this. Like the the Mario Brothers look so animated, like like so full of expression in this game, dude. Unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved Bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. Bring the championships home or on the go. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speed running challenges from across 13 NES games, from lightning fast beats to action packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboard. Oh man, there's gonna be some sweaty ass motherfucker doing this shit. I could imagine the sweaty motherfuckers doing this shit on the daily. Unemployed as hell, and they're just playing this shit all day just so they could be on a leaderboard. You said, so when we playing this? Hell no, bro. I gotta finish Paper Mario. You could just cheat! Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a legend challenge? Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help Yo, you improve. Yo, cheatcc.com. the test in survival mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, oh, that's tough. players will be eliminated. Oh. You've only got one shot to survive. So you gotta like legit fight and keep racing and not dying. This is tough. This is tough. I thought it was like us against computers and shit, but no, we're actually like playing in real time against each other. Kind of like Pac-Man 99 or something. Will you be the last one standing? That's cool. Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18th. Pre-orders for the digital version are available. Oh now my god, now that Mario Luigi Wii game Wii. looks so good, bro. The deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available for pre-order. Bro. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about to begin. Oh boy, Fairy Tale. Happy! Relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this action RPG. Set in the vast kingdom of Fiore, Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Yeah. I'm be honest, I don't know jack shit about fairy tales, so I am going to kindly skip. <laughs> Yo, if this was Black Clover, yes, I would have been looking at, like, you know, Asta looking crazy and shit. I ain't looking at no Black Clover. Fairy Tale 2 launches. There was a Fairy Tale 1? This winter. Embark on a multi dimensional journey. From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi. What's this? And composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn based RPG Fantasian. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. To restore his memories, Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. Okay. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skill's trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. Oh, that's kind of cheese. Damn. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. What? Yo, just send somebody to another dimension. Like, what if you forget about them? Then what? Is it just like a get out of jail free card kind of thing? Or is it kind of like you could just leave them there? The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Let them go! Now, let us save the world together. Fantasian Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. This high key look like a PS2 game. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Get your ass out of here. Hell no, skip. Y'all took. Nah, look. Look, they took way too fucking long to upgrade this shit. You telling me it took them like a year to add updates to this shit? I'm instantaneously skipping this shit. I'm not even going to acknowledge it. Shit don't exist. Get that shit on my face. Took him a whole year to put updates on that shit. Are you serious?
You said they fumbled not adding Miis. I agree. I agree. You know why the original Wii Sports was was as good as it was? It's because the Miis gave it that charm. The Miis and you creating your own characters' faces and shit and having them, like, bowl and do stupid shit is what gave the game the charm and it made it funny. So it made a lot of people want to play the game and, like, see their characters like playing, you know, golf or tennis and doing stupid shit. But then once this game came out, they kind of just like replaced everybody's face with like some default character. And it's like, no, I want to see my character when I'm playing Wii Sports. I don't want to see a- Petra should go pro in soccer. Dude, I, I like the Miis better. The avatars that they have, I know you could customize them, but I like the Miis better than the customizable avatars that they have in the game. Thank you, um, who the heck? Time Clock Twitch? You sound like a, you sound like a, like a, what was it called? A, a, a Twitch staff. Thank you for the um, Twitch Prime. What game is this? He's, he's stuck. I like the movement. Yo, nah, some of those levels look hard. It's an array of cartoon classics. Oh, some people wanted Leave Silk Song. A new update for Disney Illusion Island. Monoth's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monoth, uncover hints and evidence. This looks like Rayman Legends. World, then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Wow, today? You said Kingdom Hearts? Omega Lol. Island Adventure. Hello Kitty. No, 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 no. Next. <laughs> Let's get loony. Lola Bunny! In this wacky sports game. Play as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, and more across four arcade-style sports. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four-player local co-op. But watch out for falling anvils. Looney Tunes' wacky world of sports crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. What's up, Doug? That's all, folks. Let's see if you can be a big game on. <laughs> Emergency meeting. Oh, get the hell out of here. Crewmate and imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker. Or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Look, Sus I'm not going to lie, bro. Among Us used to be fun. This shit's just now complicated, bro. They got a million fucking roles that you can do now in this game, and I don't even want to bother, like, rebooting this shit, re-downloading it. I'm fucking done. You could, now regular people could vent. Regular people could do this. Regular people could do that. It's like there's too much fucking roles now. I I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired. Next. Today. A monster army is at your command. The heck? What does the fox say? This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Felicidad. Those who command it's a Spanish in word. Called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten of Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. Plant seeds, then cultivate. What is that Wolverine behind him? To make your buddies come to life. They can then be trained for battle. He did he just grow a fox? What the fuck is happening in this game? Give commands to your monsters and Bro, it's literally Pikmin, but just They're not plants. Exploit enemy weaknesses in action-packed combat. That's literally what it is. All of the it's Pikmin in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. Yeah. Everyone, attack! 
Join the rebellion to stop the Magus in Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Switch November 1st. November 1st. You said, what are we watching? We're watching the Donkey Kong! Dude, no way! Bro, I didn't even know! We, we got a Donkey Kong? No way. Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The oh, the one that we got, I think, on the Switch was Tropic Freeze. So it's a remaster of the original one. We got Tropic Freeze already. But this is another port of the original. Ah, I never played the original. I played Tropic Freeze, though. That shit was difficult. I beat it, but it was difficult. I never this um, played this one. Tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana hoard. Why they steal the, his bananas when they're in a whole forest where you could just find bananas in random trees? Obstacles in the way? Just stomp them. Pound them. And roll on through. Each level is filled with hijinks. But like, I wish I could get this game, but I'm not spending he 60. He fat ass and hoards them bananas. Yeah, he does. I'm not going to lie. He does hoard them bananas. Thank you, Sora, for the 100 biddies. I was going to say, I wouldn't mind getting this game, but I'm not spending no more than no cap. I'm not spending no more than $20 for this shit. Because that's how old this game is. I don't care if it's a re-HD master. I don't care if you up the textures. The most I'm spending for this fucking game is $20. 25 maximum. Maximum. Nintendo, I know the second this shit come out, they're going to put like a $50 or $60 price tag. They smoke and crack. But they're no match for these top bananas. From Manic Minecarts. To high-flying rocket barrels. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. That looks cool. The sunset. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Oh, that's nice. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. Yeah, Nintendo really spreading out those releases because I know for a fact that game is is super finished. And then they're like, hey, man, we got to spread it out. Um, put it in January next year. One of Donkey Kong and you said spread Kong's my butt cheeks nasty. Returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. I feel like he's not really snapping his fingers. I feel like he's capping out the ass, bro. The time is... Nah. Yo, racist off rip! You said peak? Yo, I, I didn't see this full thing, but I saw like a snippet, a snippet of it. And I was like, this shit look fire. This shit looks fire. It's like Octopath and, and, and Monster... Dragon Quest, I don't fucking know this. They had a baby. Bro. It looks really good. HD 2D. This looks good. Is this... Oh, man, this is going to be a Nintendo exclusive. It's not dropping on Steam. To face the arch fiend. This looks good. Adventure. You said um, Chrono Trigger like this? I wouldn't even be surprised if they do that in the future. Memorable encounters. Perplexing challenges. And formidable monsters await. Yo, he jumped off the cliff. An iconic RPG remade in HD 2D. Dude, look at the lighting. It's beautiful. Forge your own path. Hmm. You said, was he using strength? They look like it in Pokemon. The legacy begins. That's the hose, man, dude. Ba 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 ba. 
Ho's mad. There he is. Bro, the art right here looks clean. Clean art. Look at that. Look at that art. Look at that art. Look at that art. Oh my gosh, bro. Clean. November 14th. Wait, 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 wait. I'm tripping. Spike Chunsoft and worked on this shit too? Spike Chunsoft, Square Enix? Damn, is this a Switch exclusive? It's not coming to Steam? November 14th. Yeah, I think it's a Switch exclusive. Damn! Oh, it's on Steam? Read the chat, I'm looking at it now. It's coming to other platforms, perfect. Yo, this guy got a cool helmet. Yo, and one and two? Yo, chat, are these games fire, bro? Like, do I really gotta get into this series? Like, like when I'm done with this series, am I gonna be a fiend or are you guys letting me down? It's so peak. Yo, my backlog is eternal. 11 is peak so far. Nintendo Direct, Konnichiwa, Hori Yuji. It's ass. <laughs> you still got a backlog? Yo, my backlog, it, 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 it's a black hole at this point. Stop asking Chat to play games. You won't True. play them. True. You're right. And guess what? I'm still going to buy it and have it in the backlog. <laughs> I'm going to still buy it and have it in the backlog. あと、どの展開が待っています。ロト3部作となる3と1と2どちらもぜひ楽しんでもらえたら嬉しいです。Retro at this point, bro. It is what it is, bro. Thank you, Mr. Hori. Mr. Hor. We hope you're excited to play the entire Erdrick trilogy now in HD 2D. You said I need to finish mine. Switch 2 is coming out. Bro, that Switch 2 better look cool. Let's have some fun, Co. Say hello to Jaws. Wait, he I already told y'all what I think about Funko Pops. They made a Funko Pop game, bro. Ready for an adventure of ghoulish proportions? Summon your current bro. I hate how they just relabeled this game to Luigi's Mansion 2. This is not Luigi's Mansion 2. This is Luigi's Mansion, the Dark Moon for the 3DS, and then they just put it on the Switch and then they renamed it as Luigi's Mansion 2. These motherfuckers, yo, Bridge. hello, and explore multiple mansions filled with goofy Dragon oh, Quest. Is so big, it was every two in time Japan. A new Dragon Tricky Quest tracks. game would release in Japan. Thomas Capone, I really in Japan. Requested the day off Dragon Quest is too big that every time a new Dragon Quest game would release in Japan, their productivity would nose that because people requested their day off. <gasps> no way. So are you telling me like when Elden Ring comes out and, and I take my day off and everybody's like, why is everybody calling out? That's what we're going to do in America when, when the Elden Ring DLC drops. And other supernatural shenanigans. The kids in Japan skip school. Damn. HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. It's all a ghost. Meet the quirky little Yo! Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. Explore dungeons and battle monsters. This looked like the DS game. Tell me not. There was a there was a Meverse game on the DS where you can like when you go to Street Pass and then you like make friends, you can go into dungeons and shit and start and start killing monsters. That's what this shit looks like. On the 3DS, yes, Me Plaza. I, I forgot the names, bro. You guys understand what I'm saying. You you can like go to Street Pass, find friends, and then you can go into dungeons. That's what this shit looks like. This shit look fire. Customize look at it. all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like, and more. Oh! Plus, up to four players in local co-op can team up to catch special Dempa Man. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. 
What do you mean timed exclusive? You're giving us, you're, you're giving us like a, a, a feeling of FOMO? Like they FOMO in us right now. Timed exclusive? So you telling me in like two weeks this shit gonna be gone from the shop? Why? Why are they removing it? Strategize away in this tower defense installment of the Metal Slugs. It means it's coming to other platforms later. Oh, so they make it sound like that so you could buy it on the Switch and then they chuckle later on because then they'd be like, oh yeah, by the way, it was coming out on Steam. And then you feel dumb for buying it on the Switch. Oh. Serious. Take control of your forces. Like Raincoat, yeah! Strongholds. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities and build out your decks to win tactical tussles. You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. This looks crazy. This looks like it's just going to be so much stuff on the screen. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system <clears throat> later today. That's cool. Embark on an expedition of the dam in this eagerly awaited... Bro, I feel like one of y'all gifted me this. I didn't get to try this game, but it looks very cool freaking cool. Roguelike RPG board your stagecoach and set off across a decay the art style look like limbus company bro landscape to prevent an apocalypse fight off nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat and upgrade your abilities after each deadly run reminds me of the walking dead Darkest dungeon 2 launches on nintendo switch july it's 15. better than limbus damn nep, nep. later today I would say I would say it's better than Limbus. I, I like the art style. I feel like it's the outlines. More classic titles are on the way. Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past Four Swords. Experience the remake of Samus's first adventure in Metroid Zero Mission. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. Nintendo finally said, fuck them kids. Finally, Nintendo thinking about their damn wallets. Yup, I gotta see Conker's Bad Fur Day on this shit now. Brave the dangerous lost land to stop a the dinosaur killing game in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. And the N word? Oh. Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien conspiracy in Perfect Dark. Now with online multiplayer. All four games will be available for Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members later today. Yo, Zero Mission was tough. I love that game. Set sail to save the day. So tough. What is this? This gear? This is Marona, a young woman with the ability to... Whoever's voice is Marona, I love that voice. I forgot who else she voiced. Oh, Paimon. Communicate with phantoms. I will take all of this girl. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. She sound like Paimon. In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Take on tactical turn-based battles. <laughs> you combine the phantoms you Bro! Y yo it's chugging in the presentation yeah look even jolt the frame rate is a bit rough bro it's literally chugging while they're presenting the game that's embarrassing dude it's fucking chugging dude you could tell it's chugging combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them combine with a cannon to attack a large area a fan to blow enemies around or combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle did they just Phantom fuse Brave, the lost hero 
launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Next year, when Switch 2 comes out. This one's gonna take you for a Yo, ride. I remember watching this part with my cousin at work, and the first thing I thought in my head was, yo, Maximilian dude is losing his fucking shit. That was the first thing I thought of when this shit popped up. Oh my God. Games featuring Marvel and I was like, no way. Onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X-Men versus Street Dude. Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel versus Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Take down the Kingpin in the beat em up side scroller, the Punisher, and more. Look how much games. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Yo, thank you for the sub, Tony. When I saw thank you for the prime. To challenge rivals around the world. You could fight people around the world in this thing. Yo, I feel like people are gonna be um, pulling their Ethernet cord like crazy when they lose. Is there like a, is there like a ranking system? Play co-op in the Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork. Yo, I love like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 OG art like this for me was like always my favorite. The way they drew the characters in that game, tough. I don't know who drew them, or listen but to shout out to them. Each game. I wanna take Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Oh my god, bro. The latest game in dude, the Mario dude, dude. Takes place on an enormous dude. resort. Get ready to jump. In no, let me pause this. So is Mario Party going to be like the new Call of Duty for Nintendo where it's like every half a year they release another one? Cuz they released one about, you know, a couple years ago. Then just recently they kind of released Super Mario Party and now they're coming out with this. You said, didn't we get superstars? Bro, we got two Mario Parties already. The GameCube had like three Mario Parties. GameCube had four. A. Mario Party was 2018. No, there was a huge gap between the timelines they started like picking up Mario Party again. So now I'm questioning... And so Mario Party is going to be a year and a half thing then. It's going to be coming out like every year. You said be glad. And you know why I'm not glad? Because I feel like they could just have one Mario Party game and just add shit to it. I'm not glad. Like, why not just have one Mario Party game and then just add shit to it? Like, it's stupid as fuck to make a whole new Mario Party game and then be like, hey, we're going to put the same maps that we put in the last game and and but just have three new ones in this shit. And then I'm going to be like, damn, I still got to spend $60 to, to hop back in, though. Retro ignoring the facts. What facts? You said, bro, it's literally been three years. It's not yearly. The Kirby guy? All right, I want to see your Mario Party account. If you didn't unlock every song and every minigame in that shit, I don't want to hear a damn word out of your fucking mouth. It's been three years since the last one. Bro, y'all talking like y'all played this shit online like crazy, though. I beat all y'all ass live. You said they speak of the future? Okay, 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 okay. Let, let's hear it. Into the biggest selection of Mario Party minigames yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. Jamboree. First, let's see some of the new... What the fuck is a jam? Hey Siri. What the fuck is a jamboree? Mm -hmm. I don't have an answer for that. Hey Siri. What the hell is a jamboree? In scouting, a jamboree is a large gathering of scouts and or girl guides who rally at a national or international level. Scouts? Scouts? New boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Who's scouting? Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Use in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. 
Four? Forty spaces? How big are these fucking maps? Forty spaces? The ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. Yo, Western Land, bro. Mario's Rainbow Castle? Yo, Western Land used to be my favorite because Mario used to dress up like a cowboy. Turn. Some mini games are action packed challenges. Speed trials? A Wait a minute. You could be a shy guy? Two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. Some mini games are. You could be a shy guy! And Rosalina! Action packed challenges. Speed trials? You could be Toadette! A battle of wit. You could be Daisy. Oh shit, they got a huge cast. And you said, oh no, they got retro? Hell no. Hell no. This shit ain't coming out probably till like end of the year. Plus, I ain't buying this shit day one. More. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy-Con. Because I already remember the last time I got Mario Party um, and I tried to play online. Guess what happened? The second somebody starts losing, guess what? They disconnect. Controllers. What's the point, bro? 110 mini games. There's a wide variety to enjoy. That mini game is bullshit. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide. That one? The 1v3? Look at this bullshit. He could just juke you. I could just keep doing this. You would not know where the fuck I'm going if I keep doing this. Variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon. Nintendo. I swear to God, if this shit lags. Nintendo, I swear to God, you cannot be advertising this shit and this shit's gonna be a fucking lag fest. You fuckers. Shit was lagging and, and or in the other Mario Party game where it was four players. It was four people and this shit was a lag fest. You telling me it's gonna be damn near 15, 20 people in here and this shit gonna be smooth? On mode. Okay. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. Nah, the hold on. This is like the biggest Mario Party in terms of like characters being together and modes? playing. Because look at this shit. Oh no, I'm, I'm I'm losing my mind. It's just these guys dancing in the background making it look like it's a lot of people. Biggest Mario Party yet will soon... Oh no, but then this one, you see like you're fighting a giant like Kaiju Bowser and then it's like a bunch of y'all. ...be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. That was the latest installment in the Mario Party series. Super Mario Party Jamboree. With new boards, mini games, 20 player online gameplay and more get ready for the biggest mario party in series history wait a minute he said the biggest mario party in series history now i'm kind of interested because now they're putting some bold claims on that shit. they put in some bold words there and now please take a look at this Ooh! Ooh! Bro! Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm way more excited for this than I thought I was gonna be. Like, bro, let that shit rock. Look at him! <laughs> My man did a jump. Jump attack. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I feel like Link could have gotten out. That motherfucker really looked down, started sinking, and that dude said... <laughs> he didn't even try, bro. Yeah, you see somebody in the chat hook shot. He could have done anything, and he didn't even try.
dude. Bruh, I'm so excited, bruh. You said the overused Breath of the Wild shot. Yo, you already know. Once they got people going crazy with that, they they got that if the formula is not broken, don't fix it in their head. But I'm just excited that this is a game where Zelda is her own, like, she's the hero. It, it, like, the game has always been Legend of Zelda. We playing as Link. We're saving Zelda as Link. No, this game, we're saving now Link as Zelda. It's a real Zelda game now. Actual playable. This is great. I'm happy for this. I really want this. Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of The Legend of Zelda series. I want that t-shirt he got on. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist. The Legend of Link. The Legend of Link, true. And then it's just Zelda in the thing. You know what's funny? Somebody in the chat say, somebody in the chat say, um, A.G. Onuma beating the sexist allegations. Watch IGN still say something about this game. Um, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Um, I think it's great that we have a now a female lead protagonist in the game, but now I'm starting to wonder, why did it take you 15 years, A.G. Onuma? It took you 15 years to put a female lead in a game? You already know. You already know. I'm just gonna be there on Twitter like I'm really gonna try to learn how to how to how to DDoS, bro. I, I, I'm gonna have to take an online course or something. Oh man. You said IGN is the new Kotaku. They really are, bro. I already blocked them. I already blocked IGN. Like, like I got tired of their fucking shit. I blocked them. I no longer will see IGN shit on my feed. I'm tired of all those fucking journalists that are running that shit. I don't wanna see nothing. I don't even want to see reviews. If somebody sends me a review of any company, don't send me an IGN review. I'm not reading that shit because they're all a bunch of fucking dickwads in that whole fucking corporation that they're running over there. Well, Fuck all of them. be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions. Nah, like, it's just IGN is just very picky with their shit. And then in one game, more, they'll be like, this is cool. This and then the video. other game, they'll be like, no, Next this is bad. IGN They're article, very selective the new with their legend bullshit. of Zelda game continues Story the sexist away. trope of women using their manipulative the abilities to make male-coded characters fight in their stead. Holy yap. So the next IGN article is going to be the new Legend of Zelda game continues the sexist trope of women using their manipulative abilities to make male-coded characters fight in their stead. Bruh, look, look, just chat, we're calling it out now. So when it does appear, we're going to be like, remember when we... We're just going to call it out now that, that they're going to do some dumb shit like that. ...have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Link, no! Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri. Receives try. Mysterious like try force called the try rod and sets off on a journey oh he got the three he got the three triangles following him kingdom by waving the try rod at a table she found zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo once you learn an echo of something you can recreate it whenever you'd like even if there's a wall blocking your path you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up just like that nah bro somebody's gonna find a way to break this game it's over bro somebody's gonna find a way to break the fuck out of this game you can create wooden boxes old beds and unusual things like water blocks mm -hmm. how you use them separately or together is entirely what up to you. oh yeah 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 they're gonna break this game of things you find they're gonna break this game hyrule you might be surprised at what you discover. This is actually a cool concept, though. I like it. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Yo, they'll do my bidding? Monsters I have spam different them? abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. I can possess an octa Wisdom is key after all. Mm. 
This is a really nice looking game. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? Wow. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo of you said the Zoras? channels Princess Zelda. I didn't even peep them. There are a lot of echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. They got the bullshit from Kirby. There are a lot of echoes in this game. What's it called? To be fuck Gordos. We don't fuck hey. with Gordos. Yo, Q Doubt, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. Did she just throw the undead from Ocarina of Time? And they hit you with a mmm. Mmm. Gotcha, bitch! No! And then over my face, I'm like, ah, get off me! Get him off me! Just, just my man freaking humping me while he grabbing onto me. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. Oh, that art is dope. <gasps> that means Link gonna be evil. This is a spoiler. <laughs> At the end of this shit, Zelda gonna go save him and Link gonna be like, Link, no! If she breathes, she's a thorn! Yo, she gonna have to summon everything. Yo, oh my goodness, bro. Oh, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for that ending. Oh, man. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. I'ma buy two of these just to never open it up and wait like 10 years and then be scalpy out my ass. I'ma be like this. While I'm on eBay putting a $10,000 price tag on this bitch. Yup. Fuck this shit, bro. I'm trying to make money too. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. 10K a pop, but I said in 10 years. <laughs> Let's see a few more. Headlines. I said in 10 years, not now. 10 years. 2034. Let loose and party on. Yo, just dance his ass. Let's keep it a stack. Just dance his ass. You know why? Because you got to buy the game and then it, it, it's a subscription service. You have to subscribe to keep on dancing to their mid ass bullshit. So fuck Just Dance and fuck Ubisoft. Next. A new Lego adventure is on the horizon. PlayStation? PlayStation Nintendo Switch? What's going on? What's going on? It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. You know what? But it's not actually Horizon. It's Lego. So you know what? I, I, I'll give it. I'll give it a slight pass. All right, Sony. You you can't be doing shit like that, bro. Like. Sony, what about your exclusives? You're already putting them on PC, bro. This is why I copped the PS5, Sony. What you doing, bro? Online Ventures launches a, a stray's journey ah! begins. Sony! All right, so the PS5 going to be the last PlayStation console I'm buying. Creatures, familiar. Welcome home, Hobbit. <coughs> if you've ever wanted to live like a Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, now a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance. Decorate your home and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal <coughs> or three. Explore, garden, fish, forage, and cook. 
the best way to build a hobbit community. Yo, when this game comes out, I want to know how much this game actually sells. Community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade Like chat, is there a way like you can check how much a game sells? Like I genuinely want to know how much this shit's going to sell. You <laughs> said it's going to sell two copies. Um they're all ports. They run better on PS5. You right, Nepnep. You right, you right, you right, you right. You 100% right. Dishes. Living Plus. life as retro, but in Middle Earth. Middle Earth. You can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations for the and special ingredients for even tastier meals. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. This shit look like right here is bussin'. Ew, is that flan with bacon? And beets? And coffee beans? What the fuck is this shit? Friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when Tales of the Shire Those are turnips? launches oh. on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. Investigate, interrogate, checkmate. <laughs> Two Ace Attorney spin off <laughs> games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. As the prolific prosecutor. Yo, look at Gumshoe! Is this the guy that's in the solitary confinement that we never seen his face? He finally got to leave! In the detention center, he finally got out! For Miles Edgeworth, take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Gather information by interviewing- Bird? I remember her! People and inspecting evidence. Then use the power of logic to solve challenging I'm cases. I need you to get back on Ace 3 now Enjoy today forever you mother fiffin bitch airs gdas fbarf base fnasks I'm hungry. Look, it's best girl right there, bro. Hand-drawn character visuals from the original... Larry Butts! The boy! Who the heck is this? These are a bunch of new characters I don't know. But I know that's Larry. I know that's Larry. That's gotta be Larry. Series character designer. Oh! <laughs> Old bag, you bitch! Oh my god, bro, yo, they gotta get rid of this bitch. I can't stand old bag. Or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take a break Oh my god, get rid of her. Explore the gallery. Where you'll find character Yo, this is so tough. Look how big Gumshoe's hand is. He punches you once you're dead. Art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide. Manfred! Cover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Yo. Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo that's, Wii That's cool. That's cool. I like Edgeworth a lot. Bro, I think I saw a screenshot of this. Bro! Bro, 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 bro! Bro! It's made by, yo, the same music, the cold rain head. What the heck is that? After a not Dangarampa 4? No, 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 no. I know this is not Dangarampa 4, but this is definitely in the realm of, of cold rain, I feel. Oh, brother, no, no, no. Oh my god, the shit just the, the shit just fucked up. Thank you, Nova. I, I appreciate the prime, man. Thank you. Made by Kodaka. I don't know who that is, bro. You gotta be more specific. I'm a fake fan. Unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious Bro! That is fucking Shinigami's fine ass and no one can tell I me. know! <laughs> That's what I said too! Bro, look! A school mascot suddenly appears. And he got a brain! I'm like, is this connected to the Cold Rain but universe? Kumi manages to get out of harm's way. He's then forced to enroll at the lab. Bro, why did, why when it zoomed into the clock and zoomed out, I instantaneously thought of Hope's Peak Academy? What the heck is happening? Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. 15 other students? Oh God. 
Let me chill, bro. I'm acting like we're back, but let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. We're not back, but let me chill. Danganronpa 6. Bro. The Ultra Despair Raincoat V6. Ultra Despair Raincoat? They both Danganronpa and um, AI Somnium Files creator. Oh, that's what you gotta tell me. That just makes it so much better. Yo, so this game's gonna have some good humor in it. Permission. I mean, Danganronpa already had humor. I'm, I'm stalling. Is to defend the school from hostile Here remain the same pose in Danganronpa. 100 days. 100 days? So we gotta fight? So we gotta defend the school? Oh, no. This shit right here, th these menus up here. I don't like these menus, bro. These menus are looking like Zonky Zero. I'm about to throw up. An academy shrouded in. Oh, hell no. 100 days. You saw how that bitch was posted over there? Dude is a whole egg. An academy shrouded in secrecy. <laughs> That bitch is Jeff the Killer. Darumi? And the unavoidable loss of allies. Gako. First time I seen a person die. Can Takumi survive this hundred day trial? Come Yo, DSL lips? Learned by extreme and despair and return to. Nah, bro. They playing, bro. They know what they doing, bro. They know what they doing. With normal life, they the know what they doing. Of present the hundred line. That was a tough shot. To his normal life, the creators of Don Gun Rock. Damn, that's cold. Present the hundred line, Last Defense Academy, launching on Nintendo Switch early next year. Is it connected to their universes? That's my question. On a saga Is it connected to their universes? They're connecting this shit to Danganronpa and Raincode? Bro, you said doubt? I don't know, bro. I feel like there has to be a connection. Rule and expand the empire of Varen across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. I'm not prepared for TikTok to cosplay the blue-haired girl. <laughs> In combat, Use oh. returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance abilities. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles where the action order is key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Who the hell is this? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Saga fans, safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. There's a lot of games coming out in October. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next oh. will be our last. Yo, you already know, bro. I didn't think this shit was even going to happen. You know what's crazy to me, chat? They really dropped this trailer, and we still don't have... The Metro Prime Trilogy Collection. <laughs> I think Nintendo made it, and then they thought to themselves, hey, we could just release each one of these games for $40 a pop. And then they say, yeah, fuck that collection. I think that's what it, you said it exists? Bro, you know what gets me mad? For, for years, it's been confirmed that it exists. It's been confirmed multiple times that it exists. But I feel like maybe Nintendo was just like, nah, bro, we, we want to make more money. Like, 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 they were like, fuck this shit. Metro Prime 4 has been in the trenches in the longest. I didn't even think this shit existed, but the second I saw that green text, boner. Boner! By the way, if you've never heard of Den Paman, I'd heavily recommend it. Den Paman. It's free to play too. Very fun RPG. You said RPG? That sounds like hours upon hours. Thank you, Owl. Look at this!
this is what I want to play, bro. Get into the fucking suit, that first person shit. When that other Metroid game came out, everybody was like, get that shit out of here, bro. I want to be in the suit. Put me in the suit, bro. I want to do, 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 Put me in that shit. Put me in that damn suit. Do, 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 do. Put me in the suit! We can still scan stuff? Yes, sir! Yes, 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 yes! I'm so happy, bro, because... I, bro, Metro Prime 2 was so good, bro. And now this game is out, and I get to like, oh man, I'm just so happy. There's gotta be a Switch 2 launch, maybe, maybe. Dude, dude, dude. That's the guy from, from, the, from the DS game. Isn't that the guy from Metro Prime Hunters for the DS? Bro! Yo, I lost my mind when I saw that shit like earlier in the day. I was like, that's the guy! Oh my gosh, bro, there's no way. And he's with the Metroids behind him and shit. Oh my. Yo. Mm. 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 Yo, yo, I'm so excited for this, man. Yes, sir. Definitely switch to. Definitely switch to. Definitely switch to. Ain't no way this shit coming out regular switch. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025, so please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. Yo, smart move for them to scrapping the first project like when they didn't like it and then they went back to retro studios to make the game w move bro because it, it like now i start to think to myself how did this shit look before and and like why did nintendo scrap it the first time you know i wish we could see how it looked before they scrapped it that's all for today's nintendo direct thank you for watching you said i got a studio hell no bro oh man that was a W direct for me. You know what's crazy? I saw people on Twitter saying that the direct Maybe was it's just me, but was I regular. could never get into the Metroid games. Yeah, it, it might just be you zero. I'm not gonna lie, um, cause the Metroid series, damn, bro, you never played any of the the ones in the um, you never played like the Game Boy Advance ones. Metroid is an acquired taste. Kind of true. It's kind of like Hollow Knight. It's a 9 out of 10 because I have Pokemon. Only like Mario and Luigi and the rest was meant to me. Mario and Luigi carried for me. Damn, bro. I like Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi was great. Metroid Prime 4 was great. Um, the Rampa looking game... I was very interested in um, um, Super Mario Party Jamboree looked very very cool. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. Even though I'm not even a fighting game like super fan or whatever, I guess you can say I was still very hype about this because like putting all that shit in one collection is very very cool, and the community I know was very happy about that, so that made me really happy. Um, Oh, Dragon Quest, the HD in Dragon Quest was tough too. That was a really good announcement. Like, I was like, this is really good. The game that restarted development before Silk Song BTW. Omiglul. Oh, I can't. 
Ain't no oh, way. Oh, you talk about Bozo. You talk about Y'all Metroid. Y'all ain't ever getting that shit. You talking about Metroid basically got scrapped and restarted and it still got shown more footage than Silk Song? That's crazy. That's insane. Dragon Quest, the Dragon Quest shit looks tough. I mean, Donkey Kong Country Returns, I don't give a fuck about that. Um Yeah. And then Mario Luigi. Dragon Quest Trilogy is going to be peak. That shit just looks really good. Looks extremely good. But, yo, I saw some people on Twitter being like, yeah, this direct was kind of mid. And I was like, what? Huh? Some people on Twitter was like, eh, it's okay. I'm like, okay. But then you know what? Everybody has an acquired taste. It is what it is. You got to play Ace 3 now. Damn. Damn. 